inordinate amount of dust swirls around this steep, narrow bridge. One hoping to end their existence, a ledge this high up is the perfect place to leap from. This enormous crack leads to the Volkur Spiral, site of many ritual sacrifices. golden vessel atop the altar catches your eye. A gigantic scorpion rises from the cavern's floor. invaders out.
everyone. Thanks for watching. Just happened to catch some people in my guild who wanted to run uh, flagging for ADQ, so that's what we're doing. We're not offering blood at the moment. Run this quest in a little bit. It's one of those that's sometimes on the normal rotations and sometimes not. Some people like to run it. Some people think it's just not worth the run out here to actually run it. It just kind of depends. I don't really solo this um, on Epic normally, so I don't. It's not part of my normal runs. But if somebody else is running it in the party, and go ahead and do it. Got some decent XP. Pretty much just to speed run through it. Stop to get a couple guys off your back and then keep going. I'll do my normal introduction and such after this uh, quest is over. I usually have a few minutes uh, around the time I start to get all that out of the way, but this time uh, jumping right in. Most of my guildmates are uh, European time, so if I'm going to play with them, it's got to be now.
Ah, oh, my old friend Selmer's done. Love that. Whoa, I got some hellacious lag right there. Froze for a second, too. Three K for under ten minutes work, not bad. And a legendary victory. I'll take that. So welcome everybody. This is Simorgu, part of the community stream team, streaming on the official DDO stream channel. As I do most Tuesdays around this time. I play on Thelanus. Uh should be in the top right of your screen. Top left of your screen is my personal Twitch channel, which I'd appreciate if you checked out sometime. And um, at the bottom there's the email address if you'd like to ask questions that way. Otherwise I am monitoring chat. If you'd like to stop in, say hi, ask a question, have a request, anything like that, feel free. You should be able to see chat on the stream as well. I think I got it set up right. I did a little tweaking earlier today, so hoping everything's still working correctly. A few new scenes to show off later. Um, big news that I read in the forums earlier is that U24 is not coming out tomorrow. So you may have another day or two. Uh, target is still by the end of the week, but it is not going to be tomorrow as far as what I read earlier, which I hope is still the case. With that said, if you have any cards on Thelonis that you want to get rid of, I'd be happy to take them. Um, I had crunched all my cards yesterday, and then somebody gave me like 1-1 one, one, and 3-4s, I think. So I'm kind of stuck with couple extra cards I can't really use. I don't really want the bottled fireballs, and I can't use the other two cards anyway. So um, there's that. I may be hopping around to other servers later and giving away my remaining cards on those servers. If I can't get trades, then I might as well have somebody have use of them, which I think. So that's what I'm doing there. Otherwise, I don't really have a plan for tonight, so we'll see where we go. I'll go ahead and... I have a new self-promo stream, so this is my various information. I'm on Twitch, I'm on YouTube, I have my own site, I'm on Steam. Feel free to check me out any of those places. I also have the uh, schedule for this channel, DDO Stream. Let me get back into game real quick. Looks like we're doing Chains of Flame next, so let me get back to game. So there we have it. Uh, I am part of the community stream team, which means I'm just a regular player like y'all. Nothing special here. Um, just had the opportunity to stream on this channel and decided to go ahead and take it. I use OBS to stream over here, and normally I use Shadowplay. Um, Epic characters on my 
let's see. I have the full three stacks of double strikes, so this is actually my fourth life epic. I have not done any heroic TRs, so it's still first life in that regard. But working on filling my marshal back up, and then I'll probably switch to Fury. Do my primal three in a row next. I found, let's see. With the sales recently, I got Thunder Home and Hanel's Vading Star. Went into Thunder Home, ran the Explorers for a little bit, and got some quite decent experience points. Uh, almost have all the journals for the Explorer, and I was able to make myself a level 22 Thunder Forge Great Axe, which helps immensely at that level. Um, although I'm really annoyed that it got damaged before I was able to attune, bind and attune it. So it's got that one sliver gone of its uh, durability. It's really annoying, but I'm not going to make another one at this point. It's fine. I went ahead and bound it and tuned it, so it's fine. I also did a throwing star just to have something with better damage uh, that wouldn't break my uh, center. I was using throwing axes because logically if I'm specializing in throwing axe, in, in axes and two-handed then my throwing weapon should also be an axe. I'm a dwarf, you know, that should make sense, but for some reason throwing axes break centering, so uh, not actually the best choice. But a throwing star shuriken does not. So that's what I made there. Um, I may go back in there with a... Uh, Slayer potion and experience potion and try to get some more good experience out of that because get some really decent experience out of it. Was in a full raid group, so we're able to take everything down. Starting to get used to the area. It's all new to me and it's pretty large, so it's a bit complex to try to figure out. So I want to finish those last three journals so I at least can see the map in-game. That should help a little bit. Anyway, settle in and enjoy. Uh, thanks for watching. Again, I'm watching chat, so if you want to say hi or anything, please do. I rebooted my router before I logged on, so hopefully everything's nice and smooth tonight. Hopefully the game and Twitch will not have problems, knock on wood and such. So, here we go. Hello. I'm having a hard time reading that name while I'm trying to run. Sorry, Lorelei, something like that. Hello. How are you doing this evening or morning or wherever the time is where you are? Oh, the run to this quest. We could really use a teleporter to this one. I don't think people would mind even if it was a plat sink, as long as it wasn't a shard sink. Out of my way. Two of the three of us are here. Oh, well then, welcome. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Glad to hear it. Hey, Wolfen. Yeah, it's a pretty ridiculous run up and around and through and everything. Looks like we're going, going in. Not bad. XP. <laughs> So the other person is on a Mac, and uh, an update came up, and then he went straight off the edge while running. So he'll be here in a minute or two, hopefully. Find his way back up here. 
and the other person's taking a break, so we can sit here a minute and chat. Hmm, this is the first time I've done Epic Hard. Okay, a little, nice little bonus there. Looks like I'm getting about 56k out of this one, which is good. My main concern when doing these uh, epic reincarnations is to get a 24 so I can get my better great axe, uh, level 24 Thunderforged. Once I equip this, things go a lot smoother. In about every quest that I run, this is much smoother with this equipped. Um, also at 23, I've got the Ring of Shadows, which does blurry and ghostly, which helps a bit too. That's cool, Wolf and Josh. Don't recall if I've run with you or not before. Oh, there's a spies. Oh, EE -E spies. Yeah, that's probably a bit above me at the moment. Normal jungle. People do a necro. I'd like to do necro. I haven't done necro in a while. Lower levels is a little more difficult to get into those and get through them. I've been doing a lot of soloing, so don't tend to do the harder, higher level stuff. I'd like to get out to Three Barrel Cove today, too. That'd be nice. And of course, if anybody w can handle it and wants to run uh, Haunted Halls on Evening Star and Epic Elite, I want the favor for the Harper on, uh, Agent Tree Unlock. I'd love to get that done. Some of my guildmates here also want to do that. Um, yeah. Whenever you Update 24 does come out, I want to get Harper Agent pretty much immediately. Pretty much gonna speed run this. Uh, assuming somebody knows the way. Don't think we're gonna stop for optionals or anything, really. But we'll see. Sometimes we do. I know that. Uh, who's oh, Brorim? He uh, usually has a fairly hard stop in about. Oh an hour, sometimes two, depending. But around that time he usually has to head to bed. So if we're gonna, he wanted to do ADQ 1 and 2, and if we're gonna get that done, we pretty much have to speed this along. We can't wait for everything. Yeah, I've definitely noticed the power difference as I've gotten to this level and equipped my better axe. I wasn't seeing four digit damage before, and now I am.
ADQ, um, the first part is confusing. The second part can be pretty tough depending on uh, your power level when you attempt it. We had a run Thursday? Yeah, our guild night on Thursday. Um, we did a heroic ADQ run and uh, we wiped we almost wiped on the first part because we weren't following a guide. We were just trying to remember how to do it and it wasn't working. I haven't I've done it maybe once, so I wasn't really remembering how it went and then uh, hey Queen. Um the other people had run it a couple times, and but it had been a while for them, so they were trying to remember how it go went. Anyway, we almost wiped, but we managed to survive the first part. Um, took us something like 94 minutes, I think, to do it. Took quite a while to get that done. Um, and then the second part, we failed... I want to say two or three times. And then we finally figured out everybody's role and how we were going to approach it and got back in there and the uh, Demon Queen was down to a sliver when we finally party wiped, except that my SO's Druid had a pet and that pet uh, kept uh, attacking the uh, Demon Queen and actually killed her for us. So we then the shrines and loot popped and we all went to the shrine and rezzed and were able to go. It was pretty neat. Uh, very, very funny that uh, a pet saved us. Like that, but we got the completion all that, so we're happy. I suspect this will be different. We, this group should be more prepared. Even if there's only three of us, we should be able to get through. I think we're doing ADU2 on Heroic Elite, so we're over level, so it shouldn't be too rough. I hope. Now, sometimes the Heroic Elites can surprise you, but they can be harder than some of the epic cards sometimes. It's weird. Yeah, um, actually, I have an Android app on my tablet that has uh, various puzzle solvers, and one of them is uh, ADQ1, and I didn't use it until way late. Once I did, it was much easier to get through that quest. <laughs> Must say, it, it was correct. Yep, pets are fun. Yeah, Queen, it was really amusing. Unfortunately, I can't share the video, um, so my guild members don't like... Uh, the whole streaming and publicizing. I do record them for the guild use, but uh, I don't share them. Uh, I would love to share that moment with everybody because it is very amusing. You could just hear all of us laughing and it was so funny that we thought we were all gone and then all of a sudden, wait a minute, the pet's doing it all for us. It's hilarious. So, yeah. Huh. The owlbear is a good tank for the... Okay, that's good to know. I could pull that out, I guess, if we needed to. Yeah, pets can be very fun and amusing um, in-game. I mostly play fighters, so I don't have many pets, although I do have the owlbear and panther hirelings I can bring out if I need to. Anymore, I generally do that. At, unless I don't do that unless I need a lever puller, or um, I'm right at 20 or 21. I don't have some of my better gear equipped. Yep. 
Be a lifesaver. I haven't anything quite like that, though. Not a raid that was saved by a pet like that. The full party wipe. No, we weren't. We didn't have a full party. I should mention that. I would think there were six of us, maybe seven. But, uh, yeah. It was amusing. I haven't had any other interesting moments like that recently. That's just, it's hard to compare to that. <laughs> to time this. I've been running more epics at Leeds lately. Uh, Guild has decided... Heroic Leeds too. Actually, we did some favor runs and Saga completion uh, things the other day, which I think are up on my YouTube, most of them. Depends on which members of the Guild are on, whether I can post or not. I think all but two of them. I've uploaded, like... Oh, 90 gigs of videos in the past three or four days. Something like that. So there's plenty of stuff up, but uh, if we get enough of us in there, we've been getting more comfortable doing Epic Elites. I solo a lot, so I don't tend to do Epic Elites. Probably could uh, do some of the easier ones, but I'd rather just get through and get my XP and move on to the next quest. I'm not really that concerned about it. I still need to. I have over 4,000 favor now, but I still need to finish the other ones for the favor run. Get my uh, plus five tome thing going on. That's right, he was shrining. Whoa, what did I do? Get off my window or something. Don't like having to play windowed. Um, queen's away. See if there's anything else I missed in chat. No, it looks like I'm caught up. So again, if you didn't hear, um, E24 does not come out tomorrow, as was tentatively scheduled last week. Last I heard, it is not going to be tomorrow, but they still hope to have it by the end of the week. So cards have a little more time to finish trades and figure out what you're going to do. I spent quite a while last night uh, figuring out what my cards were going to give me, and oh my god, bracelet of friends, do not do that one. That's kind of ridiculous. Seven inventory slots of them, and they are bound to character. Not really worth it. Those really should stack or be bound to accounts, because that's kind of ridiculous. Anyway, um, got some various things, stuff I hadn't tried before, stuff I wouldn't pay TP for, but hey, if it's free through the cards and I had the combination left, why not? Got some various tomes, skills, um, about. I don't know, something like 240 uh, spell point potions. It'll be nice if I ever play a caster. Now I have a caster or two sitting there that I don't really play, but could, could at some point. If I ever actually do uh, heroic TRs on this character, then I'll. Pretty sure I'll go through the rotation and get a caster at some point. Be good for that. Seal the brace for the demon's consort. Don't think I've got too much new in the way of loot recently either. I think the last good drop was ethereal bracers. 
epic ones, and then muffled veneer, which isn't really that useful for this character, but hey, it's a hot high end loot drop that I didn't have, so why not, you know? Sometimes the loot's just good enough to keep it. I had to make oh, quite a bit of bank space for those uh, bracelets of friends. And I realized I should have done them on another character, not this one, but... Alright. Somebody is stuck somewhere. Why? What's going on? Oh, he's stuck there, which I just... Yeah, you have to catch it right at the end there. Looks like. I'm glad we're not on team speak because I know he's cursing up a storm at the moment. Not good for this channel. Yeah, okay, now go... now. Nope. This is Bound of Character, isn't it? Yep. So I have this out at Walking Stick just for the uh, Immunity Slippery Surface. Oh, I think I've, I'm in Grandmaster Flower, so I should have it anyway. That's all right. I can't give it to him, though. None of us have freedom of movement. Um, don't know what else to do. Oh, he got up. Go, go, now, now. Got it. Alright. There's a couple places in the game that do that, where they have the uh, grease and then the slope and air, fire or something, and it's uh, really annoying. Thinking of Spies in the House, where if you don't have a thief, it's uh, annoying. Oh, and this one that blows you back into the... Uh, that's cool. If you ever play... what was that series of games where you... Uh, Place the traps, then you have the people come into it. Not Dungeon Master. Um, they were on PlayStation, I think? And Dungeon Master as well, I guess. Where you uh, combo your traps and such. It's like that. Yeah, Padar, it's uh, not too hard to do in OBS. It's just another overlay, basically. There's actually several tutorials um, online about how to do that. I like it because that's the only way really to capture chat as part of your uh, archive video. Because I think you miss a lot if you aren't seeing the chat. That said, when I normally run my own channel, on well, my own channel I don't usually show chat because I don't use OBS. Somebody got it finally. I so love having evasion. Yeah, so this character is a 18 fighter, 2 monk. Uh, I went 2 monk at eight, or 1920 just for the evasion. Because I was so tired of dying in traps. It was not fun.
and heroics to keep dying in all those traps. And I knew in Epic I would just keep dying, so... Went ahead and, uh... Got the evasion, started putting the robes and such on, and uh, turned out to be a lot more survivable. Uh, and then armor up came out, and turns out I could have stuck with heavy armor, but in the meantime I got a bunch of XP and didn't die as much, so I still think it was worth it. One say slave left. Where is another slave? We haven't been across the bridge yet, have we? Hey Titan. You're a bit yelling there. Sure you noticed. Uh, let's see. This terrace of the burning city is well, I almost walked right off that. Oh, that was close. We did that when we did uh, what goes up the other day. I walked right off the final. Bit and had to walk all the way back up, which was annoying. I'm not sure what we're doing, Titan. Hold on a minute. Um, running with my guild, and not sure if we want more people or not, so. We shall see shortly. After we finish this, I'll ask what they want to do. We're going to be running ADQ 1 and then 2, I know that, but... Um, so you need to be flagged, first of all. So check that, make sure you're flagged, and then we'll see if they want other people to join or not. humor. Thank you. There we go. Get through there. Okay, Titan, so um, we'll see after this what we're going to do. I imagine after ADQ2 
At least one of these guys is going to be going to bed, so I'll probably start opening it up and running other stuff. At some point, I do plan on hopping on other servers, and while I'd appreciate uh, if anybody has anniversary cards to on Thelanus and would like to do a trade or exchange or whatever, um, and U24 is not coming out tomorrow, so we do have some time still, um, I will probably just go ahead and give my cards out to whoever wants them. Um, not going to be picky with not much time left, but uh, keep that in mind. Um, if you have characters on other servers, uh, if your main is not on Thelanus, you have an alt on Thelanus, you'd like to trade some cards, that'd be cool. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to pick a server, see what cards I have left, and give them out. No particular rhyme or reason. Um, I will probably do that at some point later. Hey, look, a slave. Can I get... Oh, I got the key. Not for this key. Of course not, that would be... too easy. As I said before, I, I uh, went ahead and got rid of most of my cards on Thelanus, used them up, got stuff from them yesterday, and then I got more cards. <laughs> so, that was fun. Is there somebody else in here? Oh, yeah, there is. Isn't there? Up here. And over there. Yeah, I'm gonna give uh, people a chance. I'm not gonna probably not gonna give them all to one person. But uh unless that there's only one person on a particular server. Again, I don't have them on Thelanus, those are where I need the cards. I have them on other servers. And I would appreciate if you have cards left on Thelanus that you pass them over, that'd be cool. If you don't, that's cool too. Um, I'm not going to be picky about that. Everybody I've traded with so far on cards has been really pleasant about it. Uh, so, except for my one failed trade a long time ago, when they first, well, just around the time that ended, the uh, cards ended. I mean, the use of the dice, the anniversary window, whatever you want to call it, ended. Had a trade setup that didn't happen. But other than that, everybody's been really pleasant to trade with. I think I'll go over here. There. Hey, Queen, welcome back. Not sure how long I'll be going tonight. Probably going to be around five hours total. Um, still in the first hour, so no rush. Take a quick drink break here. Oh, so much better. I forgot my drink. Hey, Queen, thanks for the tweet. Uh, peppermint tea? Hmm. Interesting. That doesn't sound like the kind of thing I would enjoy. What I really like when my throat's sore is, um, honey ginger. Well, they, it can be called tea or drink. I don't actually like the tea as, a, like, the really bad for you, sugary drink. It's not quite a tea, but, uh, that style of thing really helps. Um, 
Actually, when I was at my favorite uh, Chinese restaurant once, I started. My throat was getting sore, and I told the waitress that. And she made me some uh, ginger tea drink that was just basically slices of ginger and hot water, and then she had a little bit of some other stuff. I don't know what it was. It was excellent. It really made my throat feel a lot better. I always joke at that place I put their kids through college. I went there so often. And then I moved to live right behind it. That was a bad idea. But I could uh, walk to it, which was nice. I did get some egg rolls, but they weren't Ming's. But I finally got some egg rolls, at least. They were probably half the size of Ming's, and uh, not nearly as good. But, you know, you get what you take. You take what you get, whatever. One of those things. Yeah, ginger's one of the flavors I really like. Some traps there. Order some Chinese in, come on. Get them egg rolls going. I love a lot of Asian food, and I have quite often when I can. We're trying to scale back because of the job situation and everything, so I haven't been having it quite as often, but that and the whole dog separation anxiety makes it hard to go anywhere. But we'll see. Hopefully I'll get back into a groove. That's awesome. Giant kettle of soup. I had some uh, not very good uh, dried package faux thing. Two minute instant soup bowl thing. Not very good. I found a brand that was decent, but then uh, I didn't get it for a while, and I forgot what brand it was, and I bought the wrong brand this time, and not very happy with it. This other brand is not nearly as good as the other one was. Oh yeah, Queen, you didn't see it earlier, did you? I did a... Uh, thing. Oops. Well, we can do that when I'm not in the quest. You saw it briefly if you were looking, but... I... Yeah, I don't know if they're doing it this week or not. I know they did it a day later last week, but I don't know if that means... They are or are not doing it this week. That was cool. Hey, look, here's the boss. Come right in the room. It's kind of hard to fight when you're hanging on the throne. Yeah, foe out is much better. But for the longest time, we couldn't find good foe after we moved here, and then a couple new places opened up, and or we tried them or something. No, I think they both opened up new, and they're much better than what we found before, so... I don't understand the trend with 
some faux places being expensive and not very good, where other places you can get faux really cheap and it's excellent. But yeah, I don't like that trend. I found that a couple places. It's more expensive than other places and it's just not as good. Okay, what are we missing? Oh, the other chest, that's what we're missing. Here we go. Thirty-five minute completion. That's not Hmm. That's weird, I didn't see it. Titan. Hold on a second, let me uh, see what we're doing. Looks like we're recalling again. Okay, since we're recalling, I'll put the other screen back on. So here's the st schedule for DDO stream. Minion Monday, me on Tuesday, damsels on Tuesday nights, Wednesday mornings, early. Then the we weekly Wednesday live stream, the fall fling, Saturday Shredderpalooza, and Saturday raid night. And I've got a self one here. Oh, it sucks. So uh, here's where you can find me in various places. I'll run those intermittently just so everybody gets a chance to see that. Yeah, it makes sense if you did uh, Amania tomorrow. Let's see, where's Chains of Flame? It's back here, isn't it? Plus six for the great. Oh, it's level twenty-four. Pfft. Nope, that's that was gonna be a good item until uh, it's not the level. Thunderforge at 24. Still need to find a good level 20 at yeah, Great X. That's the thing I just am not. Yeah, I'll just go back to the guild ship. Yeah, it would make sense if he ran tomorrow. Yeah, I don't see a tell from you, Titan. So, don't know what's up there. So, um, as I thought, he's out of time, so we're not going to do ADQ 1 and 2 tonight. He has got to work tomorrow, so we're not doing that. We're going to have to do something else. If there's spots open for Shadow Blues on Thelonis, I might try to join that as well. Yeah, I did. I switched to my Tells tab, which should have racked it up there, and it's not there. I got nothing from you, dude. No Tells. Let me do some inventory management, and, uh... Love that getting on the airship lag. Alright, it's not much to repair. Uh, I'll go here first.
I didn't think you were. So I've gotten tells from you before and you've been in party and stuff, so I don't know why. Unless it was one of those misclicks when I was trying to invite you to party or something. I don't know. I'll check in a second here. You can see your sketch listing stuff, can't you? Thought you could. There's a schedule up somewhere, I don't know where, off the top of my head. Which one are you on, Titan? Huh, are you on Titan 3? If you're on Titan 3, Titan 1 is... Why are you Skelched? That's weird. Titan 1 and 3 are Skelched for some reason. What's this? Ignore... Remove... Titan 1... Ignore... Remove... Titan 3... Hmm, I thought it was Titan 3. What is the other one? It's spelled differently. It's not Titan. It's Titan 3. Is that yours too? Titan 3? <laughs> Titanium 2 is not on the list. Do you have a three? Because I have something that looks sort of like yours, but it's spelled slightly differently. to reply with there we go all right um, we might be running haunted halls VV star epic elite if we think we can survive it I have not really run this at all survive this with just us. Let's see if we can get somebody else in here who might have a chance of surviving. Let's see if he's on. No, he's not on. Crap. Well. See if we can get some other people in. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
yeah, that's not going to work. So if anybody's on Thlanus and has a high-level epic character who wants to join an epic elite Hunters Halls of Evening Star and preferably guide us through it, because I've done it once in a Zerg group that I had no idea what was going on, so not at all. Um, familiar with the quest. And I don't think my guildmate is either. Let's see. We're like 23 and 24, so we're low. It's what, 28? Yeah, what could go wrong? <laughs> Might as well head out there. That's out by Thunderhome, isn't it? I think so. It's up here somewhere, I think. There it is. I said I ran it once with a Zerg group because I was in it already, and they said, hey, do Haunted Halls next. Okay. Alan Farago. Is that the guy by the tavern? I don't even know where to get this quest. Yep. Having uh ah crashed, huh, Queen? That's always not fun. I wonder what happened. You said wait got it and then he disappeared. That's how you do the extended or the commentary. I see. It's multiple select there. All I want's the favor. So I want to do it on uh, the normal one. I think some of the other people haven't run it yet at all. So let's see what we can get done here. So while I have a second here, let's again show the uh, streaming schedule. I don't think I need to read it out again right now, but... If you're curious about your uh, what else happens on this channel, there you go. It finally showed up on my preview of the stream, so that's good. Decent schedule Monday, Tuesday, when Tuesday into Wednesday is the big day. Um, then we also got Saturday is another good size day with a couple people. On, excuse me. Oh, my knee stretch hurts. Um, so there you got that. And again, 
this is me on various places where you can see more game streaming and standalone videos and archive videos of the streams. Um, some writing about streaming, although again, I'm really behind on that. I need to get back to doing that. And then if you're curious as to my Steam profile, there it is. I don't know, I've, I've crossed 1,300 games yet, but I know I have over 1,200 games on Steam. Some of which I would like to get to stream at some point. I just gotta find the time. So my guildmate is still on break, looks like. Um, again, anybody on Thelonis who wants to come join us for this try of Hunter Halls of Evening Star and Epic Elite, which I presume we're going to get our butts kicked on, feel free. At the moment we have a, a 23 Paladin and a 24 Fighter. It's uh, not going to go well with just us, for sure. Try to get a group going here. I just want to check to see if we have anybody else who wants to join that my guildmate knows. The person that I wanted to invite, uh, not quite on time. On at the moment, I mean. Yeah. It's the point where there's so many games I wouldn't even know where to start to play. I keep meeting stream for the PS4 and I haven't done that either. SO has a couple times, but I have not. Alright, looks like I'm off to do an LFM. I kind of thought I would. Yeah, you've asked, and I am not a car guy, Titan. I have a Jeep and I like it, but that's about as far as it goes. Say it that way. And the hardy size is six and the low range. Let's do twenty-four to twenty-eight. We'll see. Ah, oh, Twitch was being Twitch again during your Monday stream, huh? That's annoying. Not being able to read your chat. Your own chat is uh, really bad. Ha! <laughs> That's cool. I'd love to see a plugin for DDO that you could tap into Twitch stream chat. That'd be awesome.
Hey, by all means, Jared, plug that streamer in the channel, in the chat. Give him a link. Yeah, it can be annoying to have to look at the other computer sometimes to read chat, but it's worth it. I think I'm okay on those Titan. Last I checked, I had several. If you're on Thelonis, have an epic character and want to run Haunted Hall of the Evening Star Epic Elite with us, please feel free to join. Looks like the cleric here knows it. And can hopefully carry us. Even if that means literally carry the stones. I am good with that. having the group window open so I can see where people are. Spinner's Prison. And Airship. Oh, my knee is bugging the heck out of me today. All I'm doing is sitting here. Yeah, Titan, we're on Epic Elite. Trying to get the Harper favor. Oh. Finally, have enough UMD for. Yeah, I've got eight percent raised dead scrolls now, so at least I can bring people back up. Hey, I don't know if we're going to survive, but I want to try it because I want that favor. All I have to do is run the new quest on Heroic Elite and be done with unlocking uh, Harper Agent, which will be nice.
entrance to the lair of the infamous bandit king Rivior. Tales of twisting corridors and deadly traps dissuade most travelers from entry. Gilly's having a hard time getting in. The barred gate is rusted solid. It will take great strength to lift open. My strength is too low. The central pass the heck? I guess I only do have 38. Whatever treasures and dangers this desolate place holds lie before you now. Yeah, my SO and the dog and cats and rats and meter dragon are all here. Who joins? Hello, Mary. How's it going? I really don't even know what I should be doing at the moment. I'm guessing the cleric can solo this and he's just going to take us through it. I know to be aware of the statues. There is a faint metallic smell. And the doors and statues radiate strong. Very dangerous. Let him go first. Yeah, he got hit, but not too bad. Oh, I have a dot, huh? Good. Good day of uh, questing. Ready to call it. Ghost warrior suits of armor. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. being uh, something. Yeah, now where is that? He is through there somewhere. Hmm. What do we got up here? Ghost bandits. CR-70. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything here that's not? Shoot, dude, I don't even know. Let's see, my search is... Yeah, we would have definitely... Everything's CR-70 in here.
Yeah, it's way, way high. So yeah, I was just saying that uh, everything here seems to be like CR70. And that's ridiculous. <laughs> the dog <laughs> got taken up the blanket and fell off the couch. That was pretty funny. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if he tried to get strength 40. I'm at 38, so in theory, no, I wouldn't do it. What strength item do I have? I have a... Is that more than what I had? Nope, I already had more better than that. Uh, do I have anything that would help with that? I don't think I have anything I can get those two other strength points with. Dozen armed defenders were alert in these guard quarters day and night. Their ghosts keep watch over their beloved halls, even in death. Oh, death word, how nice. A voice in magical tones emanates from the rubble. Beware, these were carried in by those who will never carry them out again. If I had just another level or two, I could be able to... Oh, that's right, I do have my power surge. You're right. So I, I knew I had something, I couldn't think of what it was. But uh, really, that's all there is to do. We can't... I mean, now there's four of us. If there was only one mob, I could say we'd have a chance at killing a CR-70, but... Man, I cannot type tonight. You know a P and an O are two different letters? <laughs> Is there somewhere else to go besides range and groups of CR-70 mobs? I mean... You'd think there'd be another way or something. I feel like, you know... could be having me more helpful on how we get places because I have no idea. Well, I guess we aggroed some of the guys, so we're going to have to fight. <laughs> Did you see how many seconds he lasted? I'll give you a hint, it wasn't many.
leash to survive. <laughs> that went really well. This is my second, and I have no more idea what I'm doing than I did the first time. It looks like the cleric is the one who's who knows it and who's just running it basically solo while we just sit here and pike. First time I was with a Zerg group on Epic Normal and I followed one person and everybody split up and did their things and we were done in like five minutes and it was quick. This time obviously we're on EE so it's going to be different. But I'm not going to be able to see that. Nope. So it might as well be my first time, yeah. Yeah, level 24 on this Epi Elite, level 30. Yeah, that's, that is true. And my guildmate is 23. We've got a 27. And a 28. But this is the only way to unlock uh, Harper Agent. It's the only way to get the... get the uh, harp rate favor to get the unlock so that's why I put need guide and the only reason I'm running it is for the favor in the LFM so I'm sorry that this, it's boring <laughs> yeah well one of the guy one of the puggers is the guy who knows it <laughs> another one sort of knows it and he's helping and then the rest of us are sort of sitting there going eh we don't know one guy has run it two or three times. I have run, this is my second run, and the other two are first timers. Yeah. I'm trying not to be a soul stone and get literally carried through it. At least. But, you know. First time completing elite bonus, so it's not bad XP. I thought we'd be able to at least help a little bit, but it looks like they're just going to finish it, and we're going to try not to die any more than we already have. There's two packs of CR70 mobs that, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. What kind of soup is it, Queen? Oh, there's a shroud up. Ain't that fun. Only one person in it, so in theory we can go over to that after this. Creamy chicken soup. That's cool. I like chicken soup. I really don't like doing this part of the game. I don't like just sitting here at the entrance and piking while someone else runs the whole quest, especially when it's hard. But, on the other hand, I want the favor to get the Harper agent favor unlocked, or tree unlocked. And this is the way to do it, so. Just happened my guildie was on, he wanted to run it. Um, while I was on stream. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have done it. Hey, skunk! How's it going tonight?
So in Thunderhome, what is the best way for a melee to engage the Battle Ragers? They seem to have some sort of auto counter attack every time I hit them, which is annoying. Even if they're focused on somebody else and I smack them, I get damaged. Is there a better way to approach those guys? Trying to forget to get to them without dying. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well. Let's try to do some damage at least. Somebody's keeping me alive. That's good. There it is. That's what I wanted. Get that in there. Oh, I didn't even knock him down, though. <laughs> well, that's about what I expected to happen. That's an actual res. That's good. Huh. <laughs> and I took 500 damage afterwards. I'd like to at least take somebody down. There we go. Got a kill there. Yeah, see, one CR-70 mob we can take fairly decently. I don't know about this. Start fight by grabbing the crest, fight by the gate on the other end. Thanks, Mary. Fight by gate on the other end. That's what I understand. You trying to take my things? The statue explains grabbing the crest before you can take it. Ooh, you gotta rightly kill a person before taking their belongings or their identity. Like when I took this crest from that pompous center of wizard. Say, you're sporting some nice gear yourself. I'd love to steal your face and wear it. against the gate or the A or the Oh, just for fun, he's 77. He's not even 70. <laughs> yeah, really should have been higher level for this, but, you know, whatever. If it works. Some damage to him at least. Oh, he's doing some damage to me too. He doesn't like me all of a sudden. How about that? Somebody else get aggro, please. Please, somebody else get aggro. Please. Oh, what the hell? 
Heck, I mean heck. I can't tell if I'm auto attacking or not. There's too much going around here. There we go. I'll just sit here, auto attack, and hope it works at some point. Man, he's got a lot of hit points. Why is he attacking the... Somebody had deception or something on him? Is that what's going on? And the zombies. Yay. Ah, uh, arrow destroyed. He's attacked to attacking me. I wonder if I miscalculated when I had started wearing this uh, plus 20 hate cape. See the damage numbers. Since weakness running helps a bit. Looks like you should be dead. So many statues must have caused them to overload. No thanks to that reckless doppelganger. The resulting explosion destroyed some of the statues. <laughs> Where did the doppelganger go? So, yeah. I think I did a different part of the quest when I did it with the other person last time. I got it. So I was afraid of. <laughs> as soon as I get the aggro, I'm dead. Is there something else going on that I'm not seeing that happens? You 
have found both crests. Placing them in the sockets by the barrier will open the way to the throne room. So I take it the throne room is the end of the short version. A figure sits upon the throne in the middle of the throne room. Head down, lost in thought. Oh, those helmed horrors were a pain in Thunderhome. I can't imagine they're any better here. So the secret here is to lock the guy in his throne so the helmed horrors don't come out and get you. I can see his 185k hit points. I'd like to come here and here back when I'm at 28 on normal, maybe, or casual, and check out the uh, commentary and all that. Something I'll survive, though. I obviously wasn't going to solo this. How many deaths do I have so far? Three? That's awesome. Stun again. This guy's annoying with that stunning thing. Ooh, almost 70k for that. That's awesome. These are all jewel locked, that's right. Remember that from watching your stream. There's jeweled keys to unlock. If this bit of treasure was overlooked by Luthers in the past, there may be others to be found elsewhere in the halls. That's annoying to have to Replace a battery in a device like that, Jared. But hey, it's 15 bucks, that's not horrible. Loot. I forgot to search the pile of gold. Woo. 4k gold. Yeah. 
He got the door? Awesome, so he can come back in and we don't care about XP because we already... Oh, he did. He found the door. Awesome. That's cool. I never got into the 3DS. I had the uh, XL. But the 3D doesn't work with me very well. I get a headache with it, so. I've been playing my Vita mostly lately. Binding of Isaac and Steamworld Dig. Um, having fun with that. Haven't playing too much else. Occasionally getting on the PS4 and playing something, but mostly it's been DDO. I think I'm gonna take the this headset back and return it. Exchange it for the uh, better version. Wow, you ain't kidding, stairs trapped. Oh, ouch! 717. That's awesome. You have broken into a crypt of some sort. It's ancient. Looks like this place was sealed. I'm going for both this and this one. I want the uh, <laughs> Razer Kra I have the Razer Kraken Pro right now. I want the 7.1 Chromas. They have the uh, inline uh, mute on the cable so that I can completely mute everything which is what my old cheap Logitech ones had, and these don't, and it's a huge difference to be able to have that where I can mute everything or at once rather than have to mute only TeamSpeak or only the stream or only the video recording or whatever. It's just mute it all at once, it's a lot easier. I still need a shrine. I forgot about that. Oh, there's his buddies. That's awesome. Oh, that's not good. He was the paladin, wasn't he? No, I mean, favorite soul. He was the favorite soul. That's what I meant. These are only 73, what the heck? They shouldn't be killing us, right? I know I'm way out of my depth here. It's obvious. Let's see if I can put at least some damage down on them before. Oh, let me right now, so that's always fun. I need to be in that heal burst. Oh my god, I am dead. Uh, let's see, can I do that? Yes, I can. That'll help. Make sure I got all we're taken care of. Where's the 
Man. Well, I at least got a uh, meteor strike on him. Seems like an interesting and fun quest, just uh, need to get used to it before coming back on this level of difficulty. Oh, seriously, more of them popped? So my instructions were just to stay alive, so that's what I'm going to do. Try to get in range for a heal occasionally, otherwise not get aggro. It's frustrating not being able to actually do anything, let me tell you that. But as soon as I get aggro, I'm pretty much dead in two swings, maybe three. Give me a couple levels higher and have my better gear on. Which also means I need to work on that gear set, get it figured out, get my uh, boots and Whatever else I need. Oh man, more of them. Could really use more crowd control in here. He's almost dead, though. And he's coming right for me. Uh, he heard me mention him or something. I don't know. We should be able to take this one guy out, though. There we go. Presume this would be trapped, wouldn't it? Yeah. Makes me a little too much. Was oh, that the hidden rush shrine? How do you there we go, like that? Spare figures. Some stuff. <laughs> no, all my cookies are on my bard. I got a cookie jar over there, so that's where they are. The intricately carved stonework gives way to a natural cavern. It does not look like this way got much use, even in Rivior's day. Everything's CR70 with 10,000 hit points. Oh, 
Oh, this is the one with the spear thing. Guys assigned to the spear. Other guys getting the aggro. Of everything. Don't kill the trash. It just responds. So we just concentrate on the giant. This is more like what I wanted. He's telling us how to survive, basically. Should keep the aggro with all those blade barriers going. So did do you take the spear yet? I see making sure he has aggro first. Started on the giant, and then I'll come in. He's eighty three. Still doing some damage on him. Giant has to be away from the pack for me to actually wail on him. Because otherwise, my glancing blows are going to trigger the other guys to uh, attack me, which is not good. I hope one of the paladins can keep doing something to him to keep him mad over there. Nope. Something hit me for quite a bit. There we go, he separated a little bit. That's what I want. Get behind the giant. This might take a while. I still haven't got those cookies that I want from uh, Watch Him Jigger. Bob Evans, I need to get more of those. Don't want to hit those guys, I just want to hit him. This is not really what I excel at. sit there and beat him until he's dead kind of character at the moment. Not a uh, pick one guy out of the crowd and run around and kite things. It's not really... <laughs> he's killing the trash. I think we're going all out and not worrying about it. Yep, that's what I thought might happen. We going to die. Yep. <laughs> he 
Yeah, I was up for all of a half a second before uh, somebody attacked me. That really was not worth it. hit me for so much damage. It's just sort of happening. Gotta back off. Oh, good. That worked. Somebody got the lantern ring. Nice. That's a nice pull. And that was it. So I had six deaths. There are 18 total. Got some XP out of it, but more importantly, I should have the Harper favor now. Alright. That was something. Alright, getting out of here and back to the quest giver. Alright, so I've been going for two hours straight. I'm going to take a short break here shortly. Um, I will be back to play more. Again, if you're on Thelonis, actually I may start switching servers next. Let me think about that. I'll probably switch servers next. So I'm going to go on the servers that I have alts with cards on. If you would like to uh, find me and get some free cards, holy crap, 68 comms for that. That's pretty awesome. And of course, repeat that. Alright, that was pretty cool. Alright, I am going to take a break now-ish, and uh, I'll be back, probably I'll come back and go on another server, so let me put this up, so it's obvious that I'm on break, and I'll mute the stream, and I'll be back shortly. Thanks for watching, and see you on the other side of this short break.
All right. Hopefully that was a short enough break. Hey, Syracuse. All right. So let's see how this is going to work. Uh, I'm going to take the server box off. I'm going to have to quit DDO, of course, because I'm switching servers. So, what server is somebody else playing on? Let's see. Get my server list up. Change. Oops, that's not what I wanted. My INI file here. And let's look at my card list. I'll just go to the list. Then let's try it that way. I don't know if people are on that are on these, but we will see because I am switching servers. How do you say this? This is Argnos. Argnos, something like that. Let me bring my OBS window back. Yeah, that's viewable. Alright. So I am on Argnos. On a really random character name. Oh, hey, what the heck? Let's do a daily roll. Watch me get something good on a server I don't plan. So I'm in harbor on Argnosen. Do you want some free anniversary cards? Come find me. Sitting right here by the mailbox. what I have to give. That's not the right bag. That's the right bag. Looks like I got a couple uh, things to move around. Get space for the cards. So I posted in general chat, I'm sitting in the harbor at the moment. Uh. Somebody's also doing hide and seek in the harbor. Prize is 1 to 11, one of each DDO card. So there's several reasons to have uh, several reasons to come into Argo in the harbor and anybody want them? Wow, no takers. No takers, really. No one wants this stuff. Hmm. OK, 
can't believe people don't want free cards. Message again. Let's see if anybody wants to uh, get the cards. Yep. We got his nails trimmed, and within two days, it was back to click, 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 click. Nothing we can really do about that. Well, this is not going as well as I thought it would. Yeah, I could use more cards in Thelonis as well. But I did some server trading, so some of the servers I won't be visiting because I already got rid of all my cards there. But uh, some of these other servers, either I didn't get trades from people on them or um, they didn't take all my cards in the trade. So. random people and give uh, yeah hardwood's nice for some things um, but not for others them finish their trade, and I'm just going to go ahead and give these to somebody. Yep, that's what I thought. They're trading. I gave them away cards. I thought I'd give them some more cards to trade. Congratulations to Old Yellow, who got all the cards on Argo. Alright, next server. Let's see, all my Argo cards are gone, so Kanith. Looks like I have a couple cards left on Kanith. Let's go there and give away some more cards. I'm out on both Kyber and G Land, looks like. I'll check again in a minute to make sure. I have a list, but it may be updated. I'll go ahead and log in on all the servers just to make sure I don't have any cards hiding somewhere. Let's 
see if there's any hide and seeks or anything going on here. So again, I'm on Kenneth. If you want to stop by by the harbor mailbox, I probably have some cards that I can give you. Get some junk out of the way. Yeah, I don't think I have as many here, but whatever. Ah. Do stream? Okay, Queen. Give it a minute or so just to see if anybody wants them. Give people a chance to come if they're on stream, watching the stream and want to come in and log in and find me. I can do that. Otherwise, they're going to some random person wandering around the harbor that stops long enough for me to trade with them. Go ahead and look at my list again to make sure. So let's see, Kenneth has a couple. G Galanda. I have no cards left on Galanda. I have no cards left on Kyber. So Orion is the next place I'll have them. Looks like I'm out on Sarlona as well. I'm pretty much out on Thalanus. Although I probably can give some fours away. Because I have. Too many. I have a couple fours and a single one left that I really don't need any of. I'd want more of the better combinations for stuff that it is uh, a little more useful to me. And I do have some left on Wayfinder as well. So if you're on any of those servers and you want some free anniversary cards, stay tuned in just a couple minutes. Hopefully I'll be over to your server and uh, be able to give you some cards. Okay. Nobody still? Haven't seen any pings in chat. Haven't got any tells or anything here. Let's look at this person here. Oh my gosh, I hate when that happens. This person, you right here. You right here. Let's see, we're going to trade with you. And we're going to give you some cards. See if they're actually here or AFK. If they're actually here, there's no reason though that it wouldn't just hit accept. <laughs> really? You're not here, huh? Okay, you person who just logged in, how about you? Do you want some cards? I swear I just saw this person either run up or log in. If they're also AFK, this is... It's funny because I can't give stuff away. Hey, wait, 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 you. Wait. Hey, don't want to trade with you. Ah, oh, airship. Hmm. It's funny. I can't even give these cards away. People really don't care about them. Aha! People by the bank. How about that? 
So these people should be here, right? They may be annoyed by uh, me taking them out the bank window, though. People, stop for a second. Ah, disappeared in the quest. <laughs> this is becoming a game. Uh, who can I get to stand still long enough that's actually at their computer? To... Ah, uh, somebody the auctioneer? No, see, that's rude. How about this person? Here. Would you like some cards? You don't want them either. How about you? Hey, they're there. They just swung their weapon. Is that not a good choice? Alright, there we go. Congratulations to whoever this person here is. Shadowblade. Shadowblade got the cards on Kenneth. And next server then is, let's see, that's Kenneth. Gene Landon I have none, Kyber I have none, so Orion. Yes, two down, however many to go. And again, if you do feel if you do have extra cards in Thelonis and you would like to donate them to me, feel free. I will take them and crunch them into something hopefully useful. Looks like video's still working fine, so we're good there. So here on Orion, let's see what we have in the way of people. That will stop, stay still long enough for me to give them cards. Looks like I have a... Oh, this is my lucky roll server, evidently. I got some tomes of skill on here. And bells of opening, looks like. Yep. Sometimes you get rolls on not your home server. That's annoying. Alright. See if this person is AFK or not. If you're watching and you want cards on one of these servers that I'm hitting, let me know or else I'm just going to find some random person and give it to them. And hope that they're actually not AFK. Looks like... Give them five more seconds, but look like they're AFK. Alright, if you don't want them, I'll give them to somebody else. I can catch this person. Yeah. Um, their 
blocked. Grimthorn is the winner. Next server is... That was Orion. Sarlana, I am empty. Thalanus is my home. Wayfinder, last server. So on Wayfinder, we will give away some. Speak now in chat, or... I'm going to give it to somebody random. And then I'll be back on Thelanus doing my normal questing stuff. But I thought it'd be fun to give away some stuff on stream. Basically. Titan. Alright, who's a likely candidate here? Hey, this person is moving. Um, hey, didn't I already do this? Did I get on the wrong server? I did, didn't I? Yep, I did. I forgot to close my launcher. Let's open the launcher again, hopefully. No? Wait a minute, something's wrong here. Alright. I pasted that, didn't I? Nope. That's what happened. I didn't paste Wayfinder in the... So I'm using an alternative launcher and I have to do this I and I switch to switch servers. And uh, restart the launcher. There. So I did that wrong. I was wondering why I didn't have a daily dice roll. seemed odd because I don't normally log on to Wayfinder on a daily basis. Fitbit's in the way of my mouse hand. Alrighty. So let's do the daily roll just because we're here. Ooh, 100 experience points. Jackpot. Looks like I got a raid bypass timer here. Always on the other servers, never on my home server. Actually, no, that's not true. I did get a daily or raid pass timer once. Raid bypass timer once is what I am trying to say. So, Wayfinder, the problem might be finding anyone. I don't want to interrupt somebody who's actually banking or auctioning. But if they just walk up, I can hopefully get them before they uh, start doing whatever they're doing. Here's a likely candidate. No, stop. Where are you going? Stop. Stop, you. Have some cards. Oops, did I get them all? I think I got them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, I got them all. All right. 
Alright, fine. If you don't want them, I'll give them to this other person. How you doing? And there you go. Nux Aviatha. Congratulations. You have won. Yep. I was wondering if that was you. I noticed the uh, guild name. No problem. The other person just didn't want him. Want to know who I was and just didn't want to accept him, so. That's fine. Alright, let's go back to Thelonis now. You wouldn't believe how hard it was for me to give these those cards away on their servers. <laughs> it was really hard. People were AFK, or one guy was suspicious. He's like, who are you? Dude, do you want cards or not? I don't care. I'm giving away. I obviously don't care. Well, who are you? I don't play on this server. What do you mean, who am I? I'm nobody. Just, you want the cards or not? Evidently you didn't. So. Oh well. So it's been pointed out to me that I should have done an announcement in trade, not general chat. But I did not do it that way. So I'm pretty sure I need to repair. Because having died, what, six times in haunted halls, I uh, need to repair. So let me do that first and we'll look, at it, look to see what we want to do about questing wise. Well, Queen, glad you got some then. So everybody just watched me give away, I don't know, some number of, some non-zero number of cards on various servers. Go me. Holidays, charity, all that fun stuff. Some sort of giveaway that I could control and be responsible for is kind of nice. Of course, I would have traded had anybody actually uh, wanted to trade on those servers, but I'm content with what I have gotten from the cards I have received through the card trading forum and all that. Like I said, I did. I accidentally, well, I didn't accidentally, but I had forgotten when I was reading about the different rewards that you do not want to do bracelets of friends because they're bound to character and they take up seven inventory slots, which is ridiculous. But I have bracelets of friends now, stuck in my bank, taking up space. But they were free, so there is that. And those are high level things, but I don't see myself using them. Although that is a great combination. Master Crafter Shin, two slot, color, or color slot, yellow so slot, that's pretty cool. But no, I don't need them. Too bad. Alright, go get my... Bank, 
these will make good uh, deconstruction fodder. Hopefully give me some good uh, essences for crafting. And I need to go through get who and see who's on. No one else is on the guild, which is what I expected. Oh, I want to do spies with good lord, who I just ran out of halls with, but already 15 minutes through, that means they're done. Yep, they are done. Somebody's just still in there. Vaughn 1 and 2 on EE. What goes up on EN? Vol. Is that a shadow? Looks like a shadow, yep. That's too bad. Well, I can do one of all one and two on E. Good Lord's doing spies again. Okay. That will work for me. I like spies. As much as I hated it the first time I did it, I enjoy it now. I so enjoy doing this without Featherfall. It's a fun jump. It actually caught me. It doesn't usually catch me. Well, if he's got it, then I'll just go the other way and be ready. It's my blurry ghostly ring that I have to switch on and off for that, so it's kind of annoying to have to feather fall. Killstorm. How's it going? That's good. 
It's been an interesting uh, day so far here. Uh, I mostly... Uh, I don't know. What do you say? Mostly piked? Piked some of... Had to be dragged through... Haunted Halls of Evening Star and Epic Elite. Uh, that was very difficult. Did some uh, Offering of Blood, did the Chains of Flame, went to other, ser other servers and gave away anniversary cards. Uh, Lagged seems to be mostly good today so far, knock on wood and stone and metal and everything else. Um, hasn't been too bad. Yeah, um... Haunted Halls was a bunch of high-level mobs that killed me in very short order, so I think I'm happy with my six deaths or whatever it is. Glad it wasn't more. I'll need to go back in there on normal and see what it, what's up with it, but I wanted the Harper favor, so thankfully the cleric Oh, I need to go back and look at their name and think again. Uh, drug us through. So we did an Epic Elite. Gildy was 23, I was 24. Gildy had never run it before. I had run it once before. And, uh, yeah. Two other people in the pug. It hadn't run it before at all. So, I want to go back in there with commentary and all that on normal and uh, see what's what. Hopefully a guild will have a run of that at some point. It'll be a lot more fun that way than this, but this was necessary so that when U24 comes out, which is not tomorrow, as previously targeted, um, hopefully by the end of the week, I'll be able to run that one quest and be in there in Harper Agent Unlock. So. It was a little interesting to see all the stuff that's in there. Just the bit we saw, which was just the normal unextended edition. that. It was still interesting, but very hard and confusing on E. Oh, I didn't realize I was in here alone. This is a bad idea. I'll have to step my game up a little bit here. Oh, the arcane is still there. I thought I killed him. I was so used to being at 28 for so long that it's weird to be back lower levels. Again. It's a big power difference. Yep. I run this quest quite a lot and I really actually enjoy it. Even zerging through it is fun, I think. It's just interesting all around. I guess I know which part we're on now. Switch to my feather flower ring again. Hello. Oh, I can't switch a letter, can I? Hey, Lena. Get my garbage loot. Presume somebody else got that. Yep, they did. Ah. That was actually almost navigable, like the whole time. That's unusual. Usually I'm shot up and I'm back down before I even realize what's happening. And it looks like somebody's already got the vows, so this is going pretty well.
Yeah, I really prefer this shuriken to my axe. Not breaking centering to do ranged is really nice. It's kind of annoying before to have to break centering every time I want to do ranged. Alright, back to the axe. with the ladder today. Yeah, we're looking at 63 right now. It's good XP. So on the harder difficulties, I always try to run to ladder quickly and then come over here where other people take out the alleys, but it looks like no one's taking out the alleys this time, so I guess I'll have to do that as well. Wow, that was dumb. That was dumb. Yeah, I'd like to try one of those thrower builds at some point. They sound interesting. But that's later. primary character and I pretty much just stick with this. Um, I occasionally do, like on, I have a static group character, I do that, and I have a character that I run with my ASO. I've got other characters, but I don't really run them very often. Um, my first character is this one, and it's pretty much where I've stuck. here. Okay, we should be in the XP shortly. There it is. 70, almost 75k. For 11 minutes, for just under 12 minutes. Which is awesome. Part of that was waiting at the start. So. Yeah, that quest is really good. XP for not much time. Looks like Vaughn 3 is next. Oh, I need to turn my server thing back on, don't I? Sorry. I forgot I turned that off when I was hopping servers. Let's see if I can do that while running. Uh, no, I can't. Server, there it is. Oh, turn it back on. There we go. Two runs of Vaughn 3 on EH. I will do that. Again, if you're on Thonus and want to join. I'm not heading this group at the moment, but uh, there are spaces. It's the group... Uh, where is it? Still says Spies in the House, but it's going to be Vaughn here shortly. And why did I go to Airship when I should have gone to Teleporter, but that's okay. On the way to 25, currently. Just hit 24... yesterday? Yeah. This morning? I don't remember. Very recently. It was really nice to be able to equip my Thunderforged axe again. Although I did build a new one at 22 that I'm keeping there, so. Hey, I stole the wrong ring on. How about that? Because the gap between 20 and 24 just was horrible. Without a decent axe. 
I still haven't got my piece of the antique great axe to drop, but I need to finish it off. That's annoying. I'd really like to get that last piece. Because I literally do not have a level 20 great axe. I have nothing at level 20. I have a passable one or two at 21 that I can use. But, uh, that's it. So, I built the, uh, Thunderforge level 22, now that I own the pack I can do that. Um, and that gets me to 24, where I equip this, and this lasts me to 28 at the moment. If I ever stick it cap, then I'll see about making something better, but right now 24 is fine with me. did this, maybe I did this yesterday. I cleared for somebody, and I locked the kill count. Everybody else just walked up. It's pretty amusing. Looks like I did it again. Looks like we're going to do EH twice on this. Check my timers too. Looks like I'm not on any raid timers. And that's all. That's odd. Show me, I only have Offering of Blood and Spies in the House. time to do this real quick. This is the schedule for this channel. DDO stream channel has Monday, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Saturdays, and a variety of people. And then this is my information. If you want to catch me on Twitch, on my own channel, YouTube, my site, and my Steam profile. Appreciate you watching. Welcome. Thanks for watching. Um, appreciate follows on both this channel and mine. Still trying to build my channel up. This is my only for sure every week, or almost every week. I do have a vacation coming up that uh, I'll be off for, but other than that, as far as I know, every week, beyond a week or two there, be uh, on Tuesday evenings. I'm trying to aim for another day or two during the week sometime. I occasionally do eight or nine hour streams on Saturdays, depending on the SO's work schedule trying to find maybe another night during the week, or s maybe Sundays or something to commit to every week. Um, maybe do something different, I don't know. We'll see. Still trying to figure that out, still trying to build my channel up. I do post a lot of videos on YouTube. Again, mostly DDO, but sometimes I do some other stuff. Good bet if I'm on DDO and I'm not streaming, then I'm probably recording.
don't post publicly all the videos that I have. For example, my guild uh, static group, some of the people on there don't care to be uh, have those runs publicized, so unfortunately I can't share those. Which is a shame because, as I was saying earlier, last Thursday, uh, ADQ2, we had a party wipe, but the druid's pet saved us and killed the queen which popped the shrines and the loot, so we were able to complete. It was really, really funny. Because we were close, we got her down, and then she, one by one, got us before we could get anybody back up. We were thinking we had to reset or go back to the shrine at least, and then all of a sudden, hey look, we can complete, because that wolf is sitting there gnawing on her. So while I do have the video of that, I can't share it, unfortunately, at the moment. I may ask if I can get special permission for that piece of the video, at least. A couple minutes around that occurrence would be fun to share. But I did upload something like 90 gigs of videos over the past couple days. Most of those were public, so there's a bunch of stuff to watch on my YouTube channel. Behind what's available on my Twitch. And I do appreciate everybody watching. This again, this is Simorgu, uh, part of the community stream team. I'm just a regular player. Got the opportunity to stream on the channel. Which I am thoroughly enjoying. And part of that is interacting with everybody, so I am watching chat. If you want to say hi, ask questions, make suggestions, requests, things like that, feel free. There should be an email address at the bottom of the screen where you can. Uh, Email me if you're watching this on a replay and can't join chat, uh, or you just don't feel like something now. Maybe later you, something occurs to you, you want to say hi or ask a question or something. Feel free to use that email address for that. That's cool, Titan. No, I've been pushing it the past couple days to get to 24, and then all that dealing with all the cards and stuff took longer than I expected. I wanted to be 24 at least uh, tonight so I can equip this axe and make a better showing. Oh, skunk, that's awesome. That it was that close. I can't imagine a pet saving day in that one. Of course, I've only done that once, and I'm still not really sure exactly what all went on. Other than I died a couple times. Yeah, I'll see when we do the static group on Thursday if people have a problem with me showing at least or just the couple minutes around that particular piece of the run because it is so amusing I'm so glad I was recording it so at least I have it 
Oh, I think I deleted the source footage, though. Uh, so I'll have to extract the YouTube and edit it or something. Oh well. May not be high quality, but at least you'll be able to see it, hopefully. how long moms can survive with no visible health. The uh, maze and shroud. Well, I, I don't remember if I record that or not, but we had one of them down to like negative 500,000 or negative a million hit points. I don't remember what it was. That was funny. Okay, they're not dying. Why are they not dying? What did we miss? Some of the people we did hundred holes with are joining this. Always pick up the key, just in case. I guess if I had, I was paying attention to my elite channel here. Yep, there's two of us that have it. One of those monks, so he beat me to the door. You've entered a new section of the caves. In the distance, you hear a strange and evil teeny. You've never heard of a beholder serving a drop or anyone else. You shudder to imagine the bargain that they must have struck. No hits yet. There's one up there. Another one up there, which I'm going to have to go the other way for, I think. Somebody else will probably get it before me. Or not. Ever since I started making it a policy to grab or at least check to see if anybody else did in the loot chat, then it hasn't been as big a deal, but yeah, those couple times of uh, no one having it. Somebody has to run all the way back and get it. Alright. Everybody else 
was going, let's see. Hoping to get a meteor. Just sit all those guys down for a second, but that didn't quite work. Why am I not hitting? Is that lag? That was annoying. Like that. That was more of what I wanted. Again, welcome everyone. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. This life, I uh, didn't put as much into the meditation, so don't build stacks nearly as quickly. Cracks me up when people do that. They're already most of the way through their uh, recall. And someone has a D-door and they grab the D-door instead. So the SO is looking forward to E24 because 
primary is a uh, barbarian. So hopefully they'll be doing more damage. My cleric who can't jump won't have to worry about as much trying to do any damage. I really don't like that character. It's such a shame because I usually love playing clerics. Having a lot more fun with that fighter. Soup. Soup, soup, soup. So, I'm over halfway to 25 now, which is nice. Considering everything, that's not bad. XP for one night of streaming. Amazing how much more efficiently the full group can get through this stuff. Everybody just running together, killing them like mad. It all works. Cats and dogs are living together. I mean, uh, drow and trolls. See, this is where the DM narration doesn't, doesn't quite follow the action. Like, I don't hear any screaming. If you're back here, you don't see any either. Everybody pick out your elemental. So, hopefully there'll be another interesting group up later, after this. <laughs> ADQ1E, that's hilarious. Probably to that group, but... I got better gear on. That really isn't total 27, 28. I start having enough to be more survivable. I'm pretty lazy about my gear set until between 20 and 27, 28, really. I don't really have anything for that because I'm running mostly either normal solo or hards and pugs. Occasionally with the guild I'll, I'll do EE or something, but it's mostly what I'm running, so my level 20 set's pretty decent for that. And then at 27 I can switch to orchard stuff. Once I hit 28, I epic reincarnate, so... Nothing really to 
do in between as far as stuff I know I need to get grind for. And I got my Ring of Shadows here at 23, which helps survivability quite a bit, but I don't really have anything else. that I upgrade. One is the space. I mean, to have gear at every level or two is a lot of bank space. Or inventory space. And I like to be able to do several quests in a row, which means I need to keep two, three pages free. I suppose I could have done a loot drop between something here, but that's okay. I should have space. Even with all these chests in here, I should still have space. Unless my quiver is full. In which case those arrows spell it. Hey, destroyer one. What's up? Anything interesting going on tonight? And I've noticed that my stacking double strike gives me uh, quite a bit more survivability on Epic Hard. I can definitely power a couple guys down faster. As in before they kill me. Some cursed temple wizard I just picked up. Nothing much there. Yep. On Thalanus. Galvis and I got it again, which means he's going to beat me again. Yeah, Night Titan. I'm sure you won't be lasting long. starting to slow down tonight. I don't know how much longer we'll be going. I'll probably go at least 30 minutes or so more, but beyond that, we'll see. Definitely starting to slow down. Hello. That was lag or something. There's two and I've got three, so... We've got them. Hello, Feather Fall Ring. Thank you. That's good, Queen. Yep, I watch Twitch from bed on my tablet, Android tablet, sometimes. Especially things like Queen Saturday raids in bed.
Sometimes I get the headphones, sometimes I just have the sound off, it just depends. That'll be interesting. fading faster than I thought, so I will probably be done at 9 o'clock, which is about 30 more minutes. Still be a four-hour stream. I'd like to put some time in a cover time zone to make sure everybody has a chance to watch for a while. <laughs> it's an interesting lineup, so... Watch Queen on this channel Saturday night for Naked Tip and Spine, Chronoscope, and Vaughn runs. I also have a Nexus 7, and I really enjoy it. I have a larger Asus tablet that I don't enjoy as much. Nexus 7. That's right, we did this twice, so I need to pick something, a harder choice than normal. I always pick the comms. Uh, trying to reach out and walk at the same time is not a good idea. Just me. Alright, I have to do some inventory management after all that I'm sure. That, uh. Sure that it's necessary. Again, this is Seymour Grew on the DDO stream channel. Thanks for watching. Appreciate any follows of both this channel and my own channel. Appreciate everybody watching. Hope you're having fun enjoying the stream. Put more information up here. Actually, while I'm doing inventory management, let me go ahead and throw that up there. That's the um, schedule for this channel. 
Got Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays covered. So tune in for more various action from more members of the community stream team. And then if you are enjoying me, here is my information on more places you can uh, watch me and my gameplay experiences. Appreciate following everything on all those channels. Oops, I meant to go back to that one. Yeah, crack screen is not fun. Yep, I did have quite a bit of loot here. Alright, inventory management complete for the moment. Thunder. Devil Assault, but they're already almost done, looks like. More of on three, don't need more of that. There's really not much going on at the moment. That's interesting to me, at least. Only ten? We got 15, 13, which I can use, but, you know, you create that character to run with somebody, introduce them the game and stuff, and then they never come back. Or you try out a build, and then go back to your main, and you get lots of characters like that, I find. Oh yeah, that was pretty the good. Enchantment, the Two criticals. The shuriken is unusual. As with anything built by House Fiara, it is difficult to tell what is real and what is illusion. The air suddenly shifts from tropical heat to bitter cold. It is as if you were teleported leagues away. Well, that's good, Ted. Yeah, the various people streaming stream on different servers. Um, these archers have signal crystals attached on top. I am based in Thelanus. I don't know if anybody else is really based there or not. I don't recall. You can see the rest of Most people have characters on all the servers, but that doesn't mean they actually play there. Trying to get out the door. I don't know what she's gonna do out there. All she does is go outside and roll in the grass. She'd probably freak if it was wet or snowy out, but she still wants to get out there. The mark of shadow created copies of itself. They must be illusions. Are you destroying the real one? That must have been the real one. The illusionary ones have disappeared, as well as the barrier. Unlike the previous room, this place feels like it's baked inside. That scorpion completely envelops the Mark of Shadow. You will need to destroy it in order to get the Mark. The 
destruction of this make believe scorpion. Oh, nice to check on him out for a walk. No. Shouldn't hear any click clacking for a little while. Ooh, air is cold. Chilly out there. <laughs> We're getting a leak in the doorway, so put some weather stripping foam on it. Now it's hard to close. Yay. I thought I might be queen. Uh, Shadow Blues is making its way around the different servers. I know Court of streams on all the servers at some point, but as far as being based here. Oh, Giants and their knockdown of us small dwarf characters. Oh yeah, look everybody, see the noses and antlers on the wolves. get my blinding speed back. Because I can outrun it with that, usually. So much nicer having the one hit crits with this weapon. Oh, come on, I was in the air. How can you knock me down backwards when I was already in the air up on the steps? Come on. Really? Alright, Mr. Giant, let's do this. Yeah, I highly recommend everybody use Password Manager. I don't use LastPass, I use a different one, but uh, always a good thing to have your passwords uh, complex, random, and not the same on every site. I have several friends that work in security who uh, rubbed off some practices on me, at least. The Fialan Chapter House must have been closed as a precaution during the Grand Gala. The is on the far that and I woke up one morning and my and computer had a message on it saying, Hey, I just broke into your computer, you might want to fix that. That was fun. Ever since then, I locked my computers down a lot more. More careful with my passwords and everything. It looks like its shows are on hold during the Grand Gala. I'm starting to get a headache from the headphones too, so I'll run this and snitch and see where I'm at. Haven't seen Big Jim tonight. Queen says they have spots for raids on Kaneth on the Saturday nights. Don't appear to be interactive like the ones in the illusion area. They probably won't attack you. Hopefully. It should be a lot of fun, but I don't see myself building a character up that far on another server. I have too many characters in this server to don't get attention, let alone a different server. But hey, if you're on Kaneth, that's your you prime or secondary server. Mind you some rating. There you go. The party guest here seems like a harmless old elf. So we're at the point of this quest where I can add directly go to site the list, add Cyan's name. Come around and get all these collectibles from the potted plants here. 
and still beat Cyan to the bar. But she's royalty, she does everything at her own pace. As Cordovan told me last week. So. Well, there you have it. So there we go. And she's just now walking out of the entryway. I mean, I went through and put tome, full sets of tomes on some of my other characters that I think I might play someday. Probably not going to happen. See you, Destroyer. Got some skill tomes to use, too. Figure a full set of tomes on this character, since it's my main, isn't a bad thing. I just want to get that 5k favor to get the uh, plus 5 tomes going. That would be excellent. I hope I, I only did 3... No. I did 5 skill tomes, I think. I think I should have done more of those, but I think I ran out of cards for them. Um, want to do a couple more of those. I have most of the major skills covered, but if this is going to be a completionist, then I'm going to have to run with skills I don't normally use. And uh, those plus threes will help. So, we'll see. I might do that. Uh, I was supposed to be meditating. I forgot. Oh well. big difference on which tier of meditation you take as to how fast you get those pluses. I'm fine with that. I like some of this build better. They, they vary slightly just because I don't necessarily keep track of what I do on each uh, epic reincarnation. But, uh... Yes, yeah, so they have some subtle variations, and I took more of the skill of that skill. This time I took the uh, potion drinking ones, where you get more benefits for drinking potions. And I like that a lot. That's been fun. Getting, was it neutralized poison, neutralized disease, and heroism for drinking any potion at all? That's pretty cool. Killed the right person. Not the other guys, just him. There we go. Being a two hand fighting specialist, you just can't pick your target. You kill everybody in your path. It's part of the thing. Normally it's a good thing, because you wait into large groups and they all die. Oh look, he was just sitting here waiting for me. Oh, wasn't that nice of him? That was not nice. He went after somebody else. I saved you for last, dude. You were special. You ruined it. There we go. Who are you fighting, dude? Everybody's dead. sometimes. So yeah, I'd rather run that most of the time than something on Epic Elite, because it's quick, easy, and I can get my experience to go on the next thing. I like Epic Elite when I'm in a group, especially like Guild, where you know people, and it's a challenge, and it's more fun that way, but for my solo questing, I just want to get in and get some XP and get out or most of the time, or farm whatever I'm trying to farm. Oh, I've got time for Snitch. Oops, I didn't retake the quest. I need to check my monster manuals too. I didn't do that the other day. 
Got quite a few TP from Monster Manual and then uh, the 4K favor. The sounds and recently. smells of the busy tavern drift in from the next room. Perhaps Roderick Nettle won't cause a scene if you ask him a few discreet questions in a public place. Just got something, I have no idea what. I saw the message, I got something in my bag. But the piece that the Great X any drops in the chest, I think it doesn't drop like that. Those are scrolls usually that drop like that. I don't need the scroll. Hope I didn't use my luck up for the end chest. That would be annoying. Let me up this stupid ladder. To anybody on Thelonus that wants to run Snitch on Epic Elite in a group of six, I would be happy to do that. Run it until Ransack. For all I care, I want that piece of the Antigrade X. That's the last major thing I need for, to smooth out 20 and 21. Although, since we did Sagas and I've got Thunder Home happening, there are ways I can skip some of those levels. But I think I'm going to save that for probably Arcane. Should be done with Marshall after this life. I'll go on to Primal for Fury. That should be much easier all around. Um, then Divine, which is... There's two of those destinies I've had a lot of fun in, so... As you turn the valve, you that should be good. So then Divine, which is mostly useless to me. Oh, really? Sometimes I get past them, sometimes I don't. Oh, he hit me just as I got on the ladder. Jerks. Kratos, which is funny because Kratos is the name of one of our cats. But Kratos here uh, triggered the red alert. Here's the cat just walked by a second ago, too. He's the youngest, so we call him the kitten. But he's not that young or small anymore. He got kind of big. And he has the longest tail of a cat I've ever seen. He's not in World Record League, but definitely has a long tail. like a shark sometimes if he he's going by something you just see his tail popping up around it's amusing they are taking a long walk Outside. Your pursuit has led you out of town. That's good. That means we can a quieter, more hopefully the dog will settle down more bed quickly in the sunshine below. If you're careful, you can catch Yes, yeah, move silently is the other thing I need to do because sleeping dogs lie. I don't know why the past couple times that's happened. I wasn't doing that before, so I'm hoping that three extra points from the tome will uh, fix that problem. 
Got some what, 2k XP, something like that. Isn't listed on here. I should long ago have stopped. Should be green by now, not even yellow. Roderick Nettles I actually should be done. Can be oh well. heard in the next it's not. It's deal with it. Deal with him once and for all. So that. Enjoying your walk buggy. So I think this will be the wrap up quest for tonight. I'd like to do a devil salt for ingredients, but I really don't want to spend that time right now. Pretty out of it. I would like to go to bed. So, I'm gonna wrap it up. After this. Yeah, dog wasn't settled down by the walk. He was energized. Piece of the anti great axe, which is what I expect. Higher chance of dropping. That's the other thing I want with uh, update 24. I hope that they improve the drop rate of that particular piece so I have a better chance of getting it. So maybe next week we'll uh, run that with the group and see if we can get that thing to drop. Do a little bit of file inventory management, and then I'll start putting up the other s info screens and uh, wrap it up here. So again, I appreciate everybody watching. Um, it's been just over four hours now. Some of that was the pre-roll, but uh, the stream's been up for over four hours now, which is good. No interruptions this week, which is always a great thing to have. Welcome back, Queen. Just starting to wrap up here. So, yeah. Um, hope everybody enjoyed watching. Uh, see me again on this channel next week around the same time. I usually try to go for four hours at least. Sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more, depending on how I'm feeling that week and what else is going on. Um, Again, this is Seymour Gu, part of the community stream team on DDO stream. Archive of this should be up in a couple hours. Usually doesn't take too long to upload these. They're a little lower quality than my normal recordings, so they don't take up as much space, which means they upload faster and they're available faster. That's uh, kind of a trade-off. Normally I like having the highest quality available, but you know, sometimes it's better not to. So again, the uh, DDO stream schedule on Mondays at 4 Eastern, Blue Queen with Minion Monday. Myself, C. Morgu, on Tuesdays at 5 Eastern. It's my Twitchy Tuesday is what I'm calling it now. Damsel's DDO on Wednesday mornings early 2 a.m., which is in not very many hours from now. Um, we're not sure if they're showing this week. Um, they're doing every other week now. They did one last week on Thursday morning, I think. So there's, they may or may not be on tonight. I really don't know. Um, sorry about that. The Court of Honest usually is weekly Wednesday at lunchtime live stream, noon Eastern on Wednesdays. Uh, word is he'll be on Lamani, and hopefully he'll have a more final date on U24 release. Heard the dog in the background there. And then after that is the Fall Fling at 1.30 p.m. Eastern, Static Group. 
and Shredder Palooza on Saturdays, 2 Eastern. Um, that's a server tour, so it's never, not on the same server. It w may have been mentioned, uh, Queen posted earlier in the chat the uh, link to the schedule there. It's on Bonnie Moose site. Saturday raid night with the Blue Queen, 7 Eastern. Um, I think it's going to be naked raids this weekend, which should be interesting. And again, me, uh, this is Seymour Goo. You can check out my Twitch channel, my YouTube channel, my website, and my Steam profile. All of that is also linked from the Twitch site, so you're pretty close if you just want to click over there and find any of that stuff. It'll be all nice and clickable for you, instead of having to type it in. Again, appreciate everybody watching, appreciate anybody who does uh, follow this channel or myself or any of the stream team. Uh, we enjoy streaming for you. Hope you enjoy what we do. And uh, thank you and good night. I will see you next week, if not before. Good night, all. Thanks. <laughs>